Have you ever wondered how to create this amazing effect? Well, hello there. This is Plan with PowerPoint this side and for today's video, I'll be teaching you all how to create this effect using Morph Transition. And yes, this is the third video for the series Plan with PowerPoint Specials. Before we start, we need to know what a Morph Transition is. Morph transition is basically a kind of transition which allows a user to animate smoothly from one slide to the next. For those who don't know what a transition is, transition is basically the movement or change from one position to another or one slide to the next. We now need to know why is morph transition used. Morph transition is of course used to smoothly and beautifully animate your slides. With this, let us now learn how to make a simple thing using Morph Transition. But before that, I'll be teaching you all how to work with this transition. We start with two shapes, a circle and a triangle. Now we need to add these shapes on individual slides. So I'm going to copy this circle. I'm sorry. I'm going to copy the circle. And then I'm going to paste it. Now I'm going to copy the circle. Now I'm going to paste it after the triangle. Now we add morph transition in between the slides. Remember to add morph transition only on the second slide and not the first slide. You go to transitions and click on morph. As you can see the transition is simple and there is no fun thing in it but to make it fun you double click on the image you go to home then you click on select and then selection pane now you double click on text and then add the code image with two exclamation marks the same thing is to be done with the triangle or the other shape double click and add the code image with two exclamation marks now when you play it you see that there is a lot more difference and it's looking much more attractive isn't it with this we now can learn how to create the intro effect well, it is really easy, actually easier than you think. So let's get started. Let us start by inserting a blank slide. So I have my blank slide over here. Now you click on the slide and just as we learned in the gradients video, how to add gradient, we're going to do the same, but this time we are going to add a solid color so you choose any color that you want I'm going to choose red now you need to duplicate your slide and this time change the color I'm going to use yellow now we need to make a rectangle with curved edges so you go to insert shapes and then under the rectangle options you will have a rectangle with rounded corners now drag the rectangle until it's nice and long go to black fill and then no outline now we are going to go to a connector block or i mean an image under the flow chart option and we are going to resize it remember not to oversize it just keep it nice and short now we are going to shape fill for the circle too for the circle i'll be adding white color and this time i'm going to put it on the outline too the same thing is to be done with the next slide remember not to group these shapes together the next thing that you need to do is on the second slide you need to drag the circle to the other end. So to drag it straight you select the circle, click on shift and drag it. 
Now we add morph transition between the slides. Remember to add morph transition in the second slide. So this is how our transition looks. And this is the same transition that I showed you in the starting. With this, I'm happy to tell you that we've completed the third video for the series Plan with PowerPoint Specials. Hope you like this video. If yes, please do give it a like, subscribe to Planet PowerPoint and don't forget to press the notification bell and please do comment. Thank you for your support guys. Bye. Stay tuned.